We continue now at the top of Daf Gimel Amad Aleph and Maseches Bava Kama. This is Bava Kama Daf 3a. The Gemara was looking for the source of Shein in the Torah, and the Gemara says it comes from the Pasuk of Ubier, and Ubier refers to Shein as the Pasuk says, Kasher Yivar Hagolol Atumo. It's until the tooth completely consumes it. Why is Hagolol the tooth? Rashi explains Hagolol Hainu Shein. The word Hagolol refers to the tooth. Shepa'amim Megulu, Pa'amim Mechusa. Sometimes it's open, it's out in the open. Sometimes it is covered over. You can't see the teeth sometimes. Uchsiv Yivar, and it uses this language of Yivar in this Pasuk, Kasher Yivar Hagol Atumo, and so therefore Ubir also is referring to the damage of Shane. Rashi says, Lishnachrin, another version, Golol Zerei Shashen Mevaeres Lamaichel Venas is Golol. It could be the word Golol refers to excrement the a person chews, he consumes with the teeth, and that causes Golol to be created. Kimo Gali Odom Vagali Behema, like we find these terms used by Gali Odom and Gali Behema. In any case, that's referring to Shane. And the Gemara continues, Amar Mar, the master said, Veshilach Zuha Regel, when the Pasuk says Veshilach, it refers to the mazik, to the damage of Regel, Vechein Omer Meshalchei Regel, Hashor Vahachamor, and similarly it says in the Pasuk, Meshalchei Regel, it uses the same language with Regel. And the Gemara says, Time of the Kos of Rachman Meshalchei Regel, Hashor Vahachamor. The only reason that we understand that this is what it means is because the Pasuk says, Meshalchei Regel, Hashor Vahachamor. Halav Hachi, but if not for that Pasuk, Bemai Mukmesla, so what would we say this Pasuk means? What is Veshilach? mean if not regal. E Karen Ksiv, if it means Karen, that's already written. E Shane Ksiv and Shane also is already accounted for. And the Gemara says, no, it's true, it is necessary. Because you could have actually said that the Pasuk refers to Shane twice. When it says Vashilach, it's also referring to Shane. And there's two kinds of Shane. The difference is, is it Mechal Yekarna? Are you consuming the main principle or not? You can have two kinds of Shane. And that's what it's teach, coming to teach us, that we're not talking about the second kind of Shane over here. We're talking about Regal. We're talking about an additional Mazik, the Mazik of Regal. And Rashi explains, Edi v'Edi, I might have thought that they're both going on Shane, Vishilach Ubir Tarvayu Ashain. In other words, I could have thought Vishilach and Ubir is both Shane. Vishilach Asil Chiyuve Hecha de Lokal Yakarna. Vishilach is to say, Yachayev, in a situation where you haven't totally consumed whatever's being eaten. Damash Makagon Shach La Ruga Vesofo Lachs of Litzmach. In other words, the animal ate some food from the garden, but it's going to regrow. Avalo Ketchila won't grow as much as before. Ubir Hainu Hecha de Mechal Yakarna. And Beer would mean to say that it totally consumes it. Damash Ma. Ubir Shemevar Lagamri, that's what Ubir sounds like, that it's completely consumed. And Rashi continues, Vikasha. Now, if you're going to ask, Lemeimar how could you say both Psukim are Shein, Hod Mechalia Karna, Hod Lo Mechalia? One case is Mechalia Karna, one's Lo Mechalia. Simply, Lichtov Chad Lahecha de Lo Mechalia, write it once in a situation of Lo Mechalia Karna, to Lechayev and say your Chayev over there, Vakal Shekein Hecha de Kalia, and certainly where it's totally been consumed, there'll be a Chiev. So, Tar, it's that we can answer by saying, Ime Hai Krav, Amina Hai Yosa, Lahecha de Mechalia. If you only had one pasuk, I might think that pasuk is only mechalia. Avolo mechalia lo, but maybe lo mechalia won't be chayiv. Hilgachikol lemeimar vada idi vidi ashein. That's why we could have said again both pesukim are ashein. Ilav the kos of rachman and meshalche regel hashorif not for the pasuk of meshalche regel, which says that the pasuk of veshilach is reg- is regel. Again, we could have thought veshilach means shein as well. And so the Gemara continues, Vahashta du Kimna Regal, but now that we're saying Vashilach is Regal, so Shane the Lomachal Yakarna Minon, so where do we know that you're Chai by Shane where it's Lomachal Yakarna? And to that the Gemara says, No, Dumya the Regal, Shane is similar to Regal. Ma Regal Loshna Machal Yakarna, Veloshna Lomachal Yakarna, just like by Regal, we don't make any distinctions. Doesn't matter if it's Machal Yakarna or not Machal Yakarna. Av Shane, so too by Shane, Loshna Machal Yakarna, Veloshna Lomachal Yakarna. Doesn't matter if it's Machal Yakarna, doesn't matter if it's not Machal Yakarna. As Rashi says, Ma Regal Loshna the Halok Siv Bey Uvir. It doesn't say Ubir by Regal. So we know by Regal it doesn't have to be Machal Yakarna. And so therefore by Shane as well, it doesn't matter if it's Machal Yakarna, it doesn't matter if it's not Machal Yakarna, it doesn't matter how much of it was consumed, so to speak, you're going to be chayev either way. And the Gemara continues, Amar Mar, the Master said, Ubiyar zu Shane again, the Pasuk of Ubiyar refers to Shane. The Chay Nuomar Kasher Yevar Hagol Atumo, that's what it also says in the Pasuk. It says Kasher Yevar Hagol, that's referring to the teeth. And the Gemara says, Time in the Kos of Rachmana Kasher Yevar Hagol Atumo, the reason we know that's Shane, that we know Ubiyar is Shane, is because of Kasher Yevar. Halav Hachi Bimayo Kimnola, but again, what else could the Pasuk mean? Karen Ksivi, Regal Ksiv, if it's Karen, that's already taken care of. If Regal, that's already written. And the Gemara says, no, it's true, we do need it. You might have thought that both Psukim are talking about Regal, 
And there's two kinds of regal, Hada Azal Mimela, Hada Shalach Shaluchi. In one case, the animal is just going on its own. In one case, the animal was actually sent out, Kamash Malan. And so, therefore, again, Pasuk is coming to teach us that we're talking here about Shane. We're not talking about regal. And the Gemara asks along the same lines as above, Ahashtaduki Hashem. But now that this Pasuk is Shane, so regal, the Azal Mimela Menon. So, where do we know that regal is Chayv when it just goes out, when the animal just goes out on its own? And to that, the Gemara says, Dumya de Shein, again, similar to Shein, Ma Shein lo shna shilcha shluche, just like by Shein, it doesn't matter if it was sent out, it doesn't say anything about Vashilach by Shein, it just says Ubir, lo shna dozel memela, it doesn't matter if it goes out memela, af regal, so too by regal, lo shna shalcha shluche, lo shna ozlo memela, but also by regal, it doesn't matter if it was sent out, it doesn't matter if the animal went on its own, in all of these situations, there is going to be a chiv. And the Gemara continues, Velicht over Rachmona Vashilach, let the Pasuk just write Vashilach, velo ba Ubir, it doesn't need to say Ubir at all. The mashma Regal umash mashain, because that would imply both regal and shain. Mashma regal, the chsib meshalche regal hashor vachamorts. Mashma regal, because the Pasuk says meshalche regal, the shilach can therefore be regal. Umash mashain, and it's also shain, why? The chsib vishain behemos ashalach bum. It uses the word ashalach by shain. It says vishain behemos ashalach bum. And therefore that one word can really mean both. And the Gemara says, Ilav kro yaseir, if not for the extra pasuk, if not for the fact that it said, Ubir as well, hava mina oha oha. I would have thought either this or that, meaning, O regel de hezeko matzi. So either, either regel de hezeko matzi, which is a common kind of damage, O shein de yeshanal hezeko, or it would be shein, where there is some kind of benefit the animal is getting in doing the damage. And Rashi explains, Oha oha, O regel mishum de hezeko matzi, aval shein lo. I might have thought, regel that you're chayef for because that's something common, but Maybe Shane you shouldn't be chayev for. Oh, Shane mishum the yesh anol azeik avol regal. Or maybe I would have thought Shane you're chayev because the animal gets some kind of benefit in doing the damage. But by regal, where the animal's not getting any pleasure, maybe there you're not chayev. And so therefore, since I would have thought it's one or one but not the other, that's why I need both psukim to say that you're chayev on both, both regal and Shane. But the Gemara says michti let us see shkul and hein. Ultimately, they're equal. Regal has something about it that's strong. It's azeiko matzui. Shane has something about it that's strong. It's yesh anol azeiko v'yavo shneim. So therefore, we should learn them both out from this pasuk. The high minayu mifkas, because which one would you exclude? There's no reason to exclude one over the other. And the Gemara says, no, it's trich, it's still necessary. Because again, if it just said v'shilach, then I might think both of them are only chayv when you send out the animal. The owner sends out the animal. But if it goes on its own, I might think not. And that's why the pasuk has to say ubir to say that even if the animal is sent out on its own, the owner is going to be chayv. And the Gemara continues that the two dots. Told of the Shane Mahi, what is the told of Shane? And the Gemara answers, Nishachacha Bekosa Lanasa, if the animal rubs up against a wall for its pleasure, Vitinfa Peros Lanasa, or it sullies fruits for its pleasure. And the Gemara says, Maishna Shane the Yeshanal Azeko Mimon Chush Miraso Alecho, what's the difference? The Av of Shane, where the animal gets derives benefit from doing the damage, and it's your money, and you have to watch over it. Haninami Yeshanal Azeko Mimon Chush Miraso Alecho, these are also the same. The animal is getting pleasure from doing the damage, it's your money, and you have to watch over it. And so the Gemara says, El told of the Shane Kashane. Rather, you have to say, the told of Shane is identical to Shane. And so the Gemara says, Vichi Kamar Papa told of the Regal. And when did, Ra- when did Rapapa say that the told is not like the Av? It has to be by the told of Regal. And the Gemara continues, told of the Regal Mahi, what is the told of Regal? And the Gemara says, Hizika begufa derechilucha, let's say it damages, but with its body as it's walking. Or besara derechilucha, or let's say it damages with its hair as it's walking, meaning it's not damaging with its feet. Beshliv shala, befrumbio shabapia, bezug shabitzavora. With the rope that's upon it, or with the bit that's in its mouth, or with the bell that hangs around its neck, all of those situations are going to be told us of regal. And the Gemara says again, Maishna regal de motzu mamon chosh miraso alecha. But what's the difference if regal is a common kind of damage? It's your money; you have to watch over it. Haninami hazekon motzu mamon chosh miraso alecha. These also, it's a common damage; it's your money; you have to watch over it. And so the Gemara therefore says, El told of the regal karegal. You have to say the told of regal is like regal as well. And the Gemara says, V'chikamer a papa told of the bor. And when did a papa say the told is not like the av? That's by the told of bor. And the Gemara says, Told of the bor, my nihu, what is the told of bor? Ilema av yud told the test. If you're going to say that an av would be, let's say you have a pit that is ten tvachim deep, and then the told would be if it's nine tvachim deep, lo tesk sivi, lo yud ksivi. It doesn't say anywhere in the Pasuk about nine tvachim deep. It doesn't say anywhere about ten tvachim deep. And the Gemara says to that, Halo kasha, that wouldn't be difficult. Vahamesi elo, because the Pasuk mentions that something died when falling in the pit. It says, Vahamesi elo, amar achmona, that's what the Pasuk says. Vahimlu lerabonon yud avdon mi. And the Rabbanon established 
established that if it's 10 deep, then it can cause death. Test Nazik and Avdi, Misa Lo Avdi, but if it's 9 deep, so it can cause damage, but it's not going to cause death. So essentially the Pasuk is alluding to, to a pit that can cause death. But the Gemara still says, so, so, but still, nevertheless, za avlami, so if za avlami zakin, one's going to be the av of boar in order to cause death, and one's going to be the av, the general category, in terms of nizakin. And so the Gemara says, ela avno sakinu maso sheinichon b'shos haravim veziko. Rather, what is the told of boar? Let's say a person leaves his stone or his knife or his burden in the middle of rishos haravim, and that causes damage. That is a told of boar. And the Gemara says, hechi dami, well, what exactly is the case? Ida Afkarinu, if the case is that these items were made hefker, he just made them ownerless and put them in Rishas Rabim. Bain la Ravu, Bain la Shmuel, Hainu Bor, whether you're following Rav, whether you're following Shmuel, that's identical to Bor. And Rashi explains, Av Asara, the Av is when it's ten Tvachim Bor, Amak Yud Tvachim Hainu Av, maybe a Bor that's ten Tvachim deep is the Av, Tvachach Darko Lahamis, that's normal that it, that it kills whatever falls in. Viza Avlin is Zuck, and Dimnafal Shorba Bor Tisha, let's say an axe would fall in a pit that's just nine Tvachim of Mason, it would die. Potter Bal Habor, then the Bal Habor would be pot, Potter. Vim Huzak, but if it gets damaged, Chayev, then be Chayev, because that's normal to get damaged in that case. Viavu, and that would be an Av, Dahamid Yuko de Kranavka. That's learned from an inference from the Pasuk. Midachsiv Hamesi Yelo, since it says in the Pasuk that he keeps the dead body of the animal. Damash Mabor Asara, Dvar Mikdal Hu Chayev, Misa Sashur. That's implying that if you're talking about a boar that's ten Tvachim and it's able to kill when something falls in it, then he's Chayev if the shore dies when it falls in. Habatzar Mehachi, Bemisa Lo Chayev, Habinizak and Mesha. And the implication would be, if it's less than 10 deep, so then you're not chaya for the death, but you're chaya for damages. And Rashi says, Lishnachrin, another version, so so zav lamisa, zav lanizakin, techihechi, denafik lan mikra bor asar lamisa, just like we learn out from the Pasuk that if it's 10 deep in terms of death, nafka lan bor tes lanizakin, the same thing we learn out in terms of 9 deep for damage, techsiv enaf al shama shor ar chamor, mashma bein mesu vein huzak, the Pasuk is mashma, it doesn't matter whether it died or whether it gets damaged, there's still going to be payment, bal habor yashalim, the owner of the pit has to pay. Umiu and Mesa Shor Amar Abonim Bor Tisha Potter, but nevertheless, if the animal were to die and it's only nine deep, you'd be Potter de Lo Machmas Abor Mes, because then we understand that it didn't die because of the pit. The Ainbo Kadei Loham is not able to kill if it's only if it's that shallow. Avol Huzachai, but if it gets damaged, Chai of Devor Tisha Bar Nizak and Hukas Abor. That's nine Tvachim deep is able to cause damage. And then the Gemara said to Afkarinu, if the case is that he made it Hefkar, Shifkirin, and Nisan, and Rishasaravim, he made these items Hefkar, and he left them in Rishasaravim, Bain Lara, Bain Lashmuel, the Pligi, Bepera, Kaminiach, Hesakad, Hainu Bor, everybody agrees, Rav and Shmuel both agree that's Bor, the Tarvai, Omer, Kol Takola, Shifkir, Nafkal, and Mibor, they both say, anytime you have a stumbling block that's made ownerless and left in Rishasaravim, that's going to be learned from Bor, the Chayev Kiechi, the Bor, Chayuva, Rishasaravim, Hida, Ave Hefkar, just like Bor in general in Rishasaravim, that's an ownerless area. So just like that, it's ownerless. So to in general, when you take a stumbling block and you make it hefker, you make it ownerless. Chayiv, that's what makes it chayiv. That's similar to something in Rishas Sarabim. And we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Gimel Amid Beis.